Hello everyone, this is Tech Talk Universe. Can time travel backward? This is a topic many people are interested in. Physicists have long discovered a very strange phenomenon. Physics laws are bidirectional, allowing time to move both forwards and backward. For example, if we observe electrons moving through time in a closed space, as they get closer to each other, they will repel each other due to electrostatic repulsion. Using Newton's law of motion and Coulomb's law, we can accurately describe electron motion in space. The question is, if we reverse the image and allow time to flow backward, using the same two laws, will we still accurately calculate the electron's position? This is the confusing part that puzzles scientists. Physics laws do not care about time direction. So, can time travel backward? And what would it mean for humans if time could be reversed? To answer this, we need to start with stories about time reversals. If time reversed, we could see two things on this blue planet. First, the reverse of causality. For example, a broken cup would automatically reassemble, a cracked egg would become whole again, and blooming flowers would become flower buds. Fish swimming upstream would become fish swimming downstream and the sunset would rise again. People would die and be resurrected. However, so far, no such causal reversal has been discovered. Second, future memories. Humans should have memories of the future, such as me getting married in five years and three months, or having a serious illness 40 years later and dying 65 years later, but we have no such memories, we only remember the past. Time appears irreversible. In China there is a saying, once the arrow is released, it cannot be retracted. The arrow of time is unidirectional. Is there a scientific theory that proves this? There is an extraordinary scientist who said, I can come and try. Today, on the right bank of the Limet River in Switzerland, there is an impressive university, the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich. This university is one of the most famous institutions of higher learning in Europe. Einstein, von Neumann, Pauli, who proposed the Pauli exclusion principle, and Röntgen, who discovered X-rays, were all graduates of this institution. Let's go back to 1855, when the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich was founded. That same year, the school hired a German scientist named Clausius to teach thermodynamics. On the picturesque banks of the Limit River, Clausius suddenly realized a mysterious cosmic law. The law of entropy increase. The world's disorder is increasing. Just like everything in our house tends to become disordered, why dirty clothes do not become clean by themselves, why cold water cannot boil itself, and why all disorders cannot automatically return to order. Clausius said that the second law of thermodynamics determined this. It tells us that every time energy is transformed from one state to another, we will receive a corresponding punishment. For example, burning wood releases energy, and one of the consequences is ashes, which cannot be burned again. The process of wood changing from order to disorder is called entropy increase. Some friends might say this is not true, as they see order. There are towering skyscrapers in cities, busy streets, fragrant dishes in restaurants, and refrigerators full of food. However, these orders are not naturally generated. They are generated at the cost of consuming a lot of energy and doing a lot of work. These orders are all created by energy. The Earth is a relatively closed system, and it will eventually exhaust all its materials. At that time, Earth's disorder will reach its maximum, and Earth will become a lifeless planet. Our most familiar neighbor, the Moon, is such a place, where there is only endless moon dust and craters. The entropy content there is much higher than on Earth. Clausius's law of entropy increases is shocking. It is not only a physics law, but also a philosophical speculation. This theory seems to indicate the ultimate fate of the universe. If the universe is also a closed system, as time passes, the degree of disorder will reach its maximum. The universe will eventually die. Scientists call this scenario heat death. But the next question arises. If the universe is currently in a state of entropy increase, there must have been a point in time when the entropy content was zero and everything was ordered. What would that point be? I don't need to say it, and you can probably guess it. That point is the Big Bang. 
The Big Bang is a theory that has not yet been proven, but many scientific observations and physical experiments support this theory. For example, the law of entropy increase can be perfectly combined with the Big Bang theory. So far, the Big Bang is still the most scientific and powerful theory about the universe's origin. Of course, Clausius did not know the Big Bang. However, his law of entropy increase was the first scientific explanation for the problem of the time arrow. Change has a direction, and time must also have a direction, because entropy can only increase and never decrease. At Clausius's time, this statement seemed reasonable and consistent with human observations of the objective world. However, a scientist raised objections. He said that there were loopholes in the explanation of the entropy increase law. Time can flow backward completely and we just need to change our perspective to see the problem. Now we come to 1877. Austrian physicist Boltzmann searched for atoms and at the time almost all German scientists believed atoms did not exist. Since there were no precise instruments to observe atoms, Boltzmann had a novel idea. He wondered if he could use pure mathematics and statistical methods to calculate the probability of atoms existing. However, since his viewpoint was too novel, he was attacked and shunned by many famous scholars, which ultimately contributed to his suicide. This is the famous Boltzmann entropy formula, inscribed on Boltzmann's tombstone. By using statistical methods, he reinterpreted the second law of thermodynamics and changed our understanding of the universe. The Boltzmann entropy formula changed our perception of the universe. Let's briefly introduce Boltzmann entropy. Suppose we have two small balls and put them in two boxes. There are only four possibilities, both balls in the left box, both balls in the right box, one ball in each box, or the balls switch places between the boxes. Now, what is the probability of finding two balls in the left box? It's simple arithmetic. The probability is 1, 4, which is 25%. If we increase the difficulty slightly, for example, by having four balls, what is the probability of finding two balls in the left box? It's 1, 16, which is 2 circumflex 4. What if there were five balls? The probability drops to 1, 32. If there were 16 balls, the probability would decrease to 1 65,536. If there were 128 balls, the probability would be an enormous number that is difficult to comprehend. In reality, 1 million balls is a small number. Each sip of water contains 10 circumflex 22 water molecules, and each breath contains approximately 6.02 x 10 circumflex 20 oxygen atoms. Everything we touch contains many particles. As nature evolves spontaneously, it tends to be disordered because the disorder is easier than order. Boltzmann tells us that physical laws do not necessarily dictate order or disorder. Probability determines order and disorder. Everything is probability. Can the ginseng fruit tree that Sun Wukong knocked down grow again? The possibility is not zero, but extremely low. Perhaps until the universe's thermal death, we will never observe time reverse. Of course, that is a mythological story, but Wu Chengen had a remarkable imagination. He envisioned a classic time reversal scene. Boltzmann's statistical entropy is very meaningful. It tells us that time can reverse, but the probability is extremely low. But over 70 years later, another scientist said that statistical entropy is too simplistic for understanding the universe and that time can flow backward. The key is how we obtain information. In 1948, Claude Shannon introduced the concept of information entropy in his information theory. Shannon defined information as the removal of uncertainty from a system. When we try to understand an unfamiliar phenomenon, it is like standing outside a black box where information entropy is at its maximum. The information entropy decreases as we gain a clearer understanding of the system. For example, when we discover a pattern in a system, like the repeated sequence of letters ABC, the information can be compressed into 25 groups of ABC. However, if the characters are randomly arranged with no discernible pattern, they cannot be compressed. Characters must be copied and pasted, taking up more bits. Therefore, the information entropy of random characters is much higher than that of the compressed ABC sequence. 
Just like the first and second laws of thermodynamics, information entropy also explains why time reversal is difficult. Each particle has initial corresponding information, but as time passes, the particles become more unpredictable and the information needed to reverse their direction becomes increasingly infinite. Many scientists now believe that the universe has a third property, information. And ultimately, mass and energy will converge on the information. This may seem abstract, but the process of everything becoming information has already begun with the recent concepts of the Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, and brain-machine interfaces. In 1972, Stephen Hawking mathematically proved that the surface area of a black hole will never decrease. Jacob Bekenstein then introduced the concept of black hole entropy. This is where black holes consume information not lost, but preserved on their surface. Although scientists have taken pictures of black holes, they still cannot observe their surfaces due to their immense distances. Black holes save this information in unknown ways. Suppose the Earth was consumed by a black hole. Bekenstein's theory says everything created on Earth would not disappear, but be saved by the black hole as information. In other words, black holes are giant universal hard drives. While physics laws state that time has symmetry and can flow in both directions, entropy principles, both statistical and informational, tell us that reversing time is extremely difficult. The concept of information entropy points to human progress, eliminating uncertainty and understanding the universe. One day, humans may possess all information in the universe. They may use cutting-edge technology to reverse time and ultimately escape universal heat death. This is Tech Talk Universe. See you next time.